Hi everybody, I'm Jackie from Jackie Burns Creations. Today we are doing just our imagination. And this was kind of a crazy fun one. It uh, had to do with, you had to use a bottle and a cutting mat, preferably the Dollar Tree, and plastic bottle caps. So it was a challenge, especially with the bottle caps. But I think I did okay. I hope you like what I did. And our guest host is Crafting with May. And our hosts are Brenda and Kathy Jo. Great girls. Love them. Kathy Jo just, she, she's got to make you laugh. I mean, she's just hysterical uh, without even really trying. And here's a picture of our lovely ladies. I've known Brenda for a few years now, and I hope you like it. And please subscribe. It makes my uh, Facebook grow, and I'm trying to get up to 3,000. Okay, project number one. Well, I thought I had the camera turned on, and I didn't. I had a little bottle that my son had given me, and it was kind of a narrowed at the neck, wider at the bottom. And I thought, oh, perfect, perfect thing to make a snowman. So I used foam clay, and I put the foam around it and shaped it all around to make the arms into a log, put that on, just used a little push and pull here to make the feet. A little little nub for the nose, and I let it dry for a couple of days, so it got good and dry. Usually overnight's good, but I wanted it good and dry. So then I painted it with the white, and this is a DIY paint. It, it's a chalk paint, so the, it's thick, and it, it sticks to things. It's just great paint. I love it. And what I did was, the first coat was just plain paint. The second coat's going to be a little bit of salt wash mixed in with my paint. Now, salt wash is kind of a, it's not gritty, it's kind of powdery. But when you mix it with the paint, it gets almost cement-like. And when you put it on, it dries hard as a rock. I mean, it really, it's amazing how hard it dries. You could always do the same thing with... Um, baking soda, and I, I think there's probably other things you could add to it, but I just love the salt wash. I've been using it mm, about three, three, four wow, years now. But, I love this but anyway, I just kind of stippled it on. Red color is just I'm just giving a little touch to the nose. I forgot to get the video of I put so just I'm a little bit of pink on my finger and rubbed it on the cheeks. Yeah, the mouth did come out quite like I liked, so I painted it over and redid it a couple of times. That's what's great. You don't like it, paint over it. So I am slathering. That's that's my crafting word, slather. Uh, Mod Podge all over it, and I'm using a product from um, Tim Holtz that I got on Amazon. And it's uh, glitter, and it's very, very fine. Really liked it a lot. Leading down so I could uh, get a couple of spots I missed. Just a little touch with the Mod Podge again. And here it is finished. I put a nice little ribbon scarf on him, and he looks cute. Project number two. Okay, here's the second part of him. I found this lid to a yogurt I had. Nosh. Mm, really good yogurt. I think that's what you call it. Anyway, I was trying to fit it to his head. Cut little holes out to fit it to his head, so I didn't want it to go on too far, just kind of sit on the top. And I'm cutting out part of the cutting mat. 
you'll see later I used another part of the cutting mat. But uh, I got out some felt I got a long time ago. It's really thin felt, though, really thin. I, I would have preferred the darker. But I'm just giving it a hot glue down. And I am gluing, oh, I'm gluing felt to the, the lid on the top of it. And of course, being felt, it picks up everything. And I had a little bit of struggle with this. Uh, every little bit of any type of teeny bit of glue, hot glue, stuck to the felt. And uh, it just made a mess. So I had to kind of cover it a couple of times. But I'm cutting little slips in here so I can just fold them over on to the lid on the inside. So it'll look nice. It won't look raggedy. And there I am just kind of gluing and poking it down, gluing, poking it down. Get that glue off the end of there, Jackie. So you can see how I am going to make more little slits. So it will fit nicely when I put it through the hole. Now a matter of getting all those little tabs down. And this is a nice tall hat for him. Okay, I had to go in and make it smaller, which I was glad I didn't glue it down yet. So I could slide it down underneath. And now I'm giving it a little bit of glue to hold it down. And I'm going to slide it up and I will glue down those tabs. Here I covered the bottom where that mess was with all the tabs. And I put some glue on and put another piece of felt down. And I went back and covered it with more felt just because I didn't like the glue spots. But I found this uh, ribbon type, rick rack type bonbons. I don't know what you'd call it, but it's really cool. I got it at uh, oh home, not home again, the home store. Anyway, I got uh, red with the white bonbons and white and a green. And I put it around the edges and around the hat band. Wait till you look at it. It looks like a sombrero top hat. It's really cool. And I'm adding some greenery. And there he is. And I made him a scarf with the three different ribbons. Okay, project number three. Now here goes the full sheet because you get usually two sheets in it. And I thought, well, what can I do with these things? And I thought, well, maybe I can make a... Snowflake. Wasn't quite sure how this was going to end up turning out. Well, it was kind of experimental, but I glued everything down with the, the glue gun. And you can see the progress I'm making on putting out. Mm, since bottles are all so different shaped now i had all kinds of different sizes so i thought well i'm gonna pull up the clock no it's i tried to start with the big one in the middle with the lid thing and then i went to the bigger ones on the outside of that and then i uh went with the smaller ones as they came out And it's a snowflake. Snowflakes are all different.
think I must have hit the wrong button. There we go. Starting to put it together. I'm just trying to get roughly the same sizes on it. And I really got it in the middle, but you can see most of the arms of the snowflakes fit on there really well. But there was one that went over just a little bit. So in the end, what I did was I put a bow up there. Okay, after I got them all glued down, I took the chalk paint and went over it. If I'd had some spray paint, that would have went faster. But it was okay, because I was watching friends great videos on my pad that I really like. Some of my crafters. So, just getting in there real good. I had to do, oh, I think about three layers. I didn't quite know what I had planned if it was going to show through. Okay, so what I have is I have some glass. It's really kind of, it looks like it's been tumbled and it uh, is small. So I was just kind of digging it out with this little wooden spoon. I got this from Timu. And I ordered some different glass colors because I took a class about how to make glass art. It's pretty cool, but I can't show you how to do it since I signed up. It's kind of a non-disclosure thing. Well, at least with the patterns they've given me. But you can do anything with resin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some resin, two-part resin. And these little sparkly gold things were... They're bigger than glitter. So what I did was I was sprinkling it down the sides too, which was a big mistake. I should have waited and did them after I did the resin. So you can see here I'm pouring a little bit in a cup for the resin. I have two cups, one for part A and one for part B. And then what you do is you pour part A in the cup, and then you pour part B in the cup, and you stir it. You don't have to whip it up, but you can gently stir it, you know, at a, at a good pace, for about two minutes. So if you don't stir it up enough, it won't really dry, and it'll stay sticky. And you stir it up too much, you get a lot of bubbles in it. Of course, it depends upon what you are using it for. So here I am stirring it. I like to use it in clear cups, but this is the only cup I had around. I need to buy one of the silicone cups to mix it in. But you always use the same measurement for part A and part B. You never skimp on one. So there I am pouring some of it in the little caps. Now, see, I poured it down on the sides, which was dumb because I have to spread it out, which was dumb because I put the blue rocks down or the blue glass down and then some of the gold. So then I had to go around and make try to make them look even so it would have been smarter to put the resin down and then put the rocks or the rocks the glass on top of it i used to do resin really a lot make a lot of things out of resin and sell it but i haven't done it for about five six years but it's still it it sounds intimidating but it's really not and if you get the high VCO, VOC, it's good to have a fan and have your window cracked at least to get some ventilation. So here is the 
product done. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Here it is again, all done. I thought it, I think it came out pretty good for not really knowing what to do with bottle caps. And there's the ribbon I put on top of it. And you can see that uh, those glass or rocks, whatever they were, they kind of bled, but you know what? It looks cool. Looks like maybe I did it on purpose. So, okay, we'll say I did it on purpose. What do you think? Yeah, sounds good to me. And here's the snowman. Oh, I forgot to tell you what I did with his eyes is I took two pins and painted them black and put them in. And they went in really good because they had long stems and they went through the foam and the styrofoam ball I used for his head. And there's his little sombrero top hat. And I didn't glue it on because I thought, you know, I could change his neck neckerchief and or his scarf and I could change his hat. And so there's everything all done. I think for using junk, everything came out pretty good. I haven't used junk like that in a long time, but I guess when I thrift, it's junk. But <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. It was like a recycling type thing. I hope you liked it and come back and visit really soon. Bye.